So I've had some people express an interest in how to save either a PowerPoint or a Word document as a PDF, whether it's because you want to save the entire file as a PDF, or maybe you're just wanting to save some select slides or pages and just email out a small selection of your file. So this example is going to be with a PowerPoint. If you keep watching, I've got the Word document file after. They're both pretty similar. Um, but that way you can see whichever one you need help with. So with this, um, this is my thank you card for a birthday present. So you would just edit it however, um, whatever you wanted to put in it. So dear grandma and thank her for whatever uh, present she gave. And then to save it, if we wanted to save it as a PDF and either email it or print it that way, you would just go to file, save as, browse. Um, I'll just save it in my current folder name it whatever you want so I'm gonna call it grandma and then right here with your save as type you need to select PDF and then if you want to save the entire file you would just hit save if you want to save just a certain selection or a certain amount of pages you come over to options and you can either select the current slide or you can come right here and say slides one through two or whatever it is that you're wanting to save so we're gonna we're going to select current slide I'm going to say OK and hit save. And then you'll see it just popped up with just this slide. So I can print this, I can email it to her, and that way I've got it in a format that is a little bit easier to email and work with. So if you keep watching, my next part will be on how to save the Word document. This example, you can see that this Word document has a bunch of different newsletter options and let's say you only wanted to send um, this first page and you didn't want to send the entire document to people so all you need to do is you can edit it however you want um, change this to 2017 add your text and then you're going to go to file save as and I'm going to save it in this area so I'm just going to write January 2017 newsletter and then the save as type right here you need to change it to PDF this will make it so others can't edit it and then you're gonna come over here to options and you're gonna say current page um, or if you want to you can select pages and say you wanted to do the first two pages you could say from pages 1 to 2 but for this um, we're going to say current page and just hit OK and hit save. And you'll see on my computer automatically opens on yours you may need to navigate to the folder but you'll see that I just have this first page of the newsletter there's no scrolling because there's no other pages saved and that's what you can email out to people so they only see whatever pages you've selected and edited. So if you have any questions um, you can email me Contact me at timesavers.etsy.com and I'd be happy to help. Thanks.